and now without further ado let me show you a couple of books no they are more than a couple of books that I bought during my travels and trips and let me tell you just a couple of things about each of them and don't forget your cup or mug of tea I just divided this pile of books in three smaller piles according to the language of the books and here I have zero books in Russian because when I go to Latvia or to Ukraine usually it's not like a real trip or a, a real journey I go there to see my family so I buy a lot of books and they were just too much to be included in such a video so here I just have books in Italian, English and French and I'm gonna start with the books in French because some years ago I went to Paris with my best friend and it was our very very first big travel together we were completely alone we planned our trip and it was so fun and so interesting we saw a lot of the city and it was just so fun and I have so many great memories and it's great that I have some books that really help me to remember that moments and here I have a series three books from a series and it's a series called Les Colombes du Roi Soleil it's a middle grade series written in French I bought these books in Paris in a small bookshop and here I have only the three first books I still have to buy the other ones it's a longer series it's a middle grade so I suppose that it was a little bit easier to read for me because I really was searching for something that will convince me to read in French again <laughs> and I read them, I love them and I think that as soon as I can I will pick up the next books too because they were short and lovely each book was about a different character, the story of a different girl we met them all in the first book and then it's just a nice, a nice story about their adventures and their process of growing up and becoming independent and beautiful women. So yeah, it was a nice purchase and I will definitely buy the next ones too. And then again, during this trip, I bought one more book I've already read and that I completely loved and it's Marie Antoinette, written by Stefan Zweig, Zweig probably, I'm not sure about his surname, anyways, this is a biography of Marie Antoinette and it's a very well written, very beautiful book and I bought it in French of course and I bought it in Versailles so I really adore this book just for that. Then the next little pile or better a couple of books that I have are books in English and here I have the first book that I bought in London near King's Cross I believe in a bookshop near King's Cross and I found there this wicked novel written by Gregory Maguire and I really love the musical. I started reading the book in Italian some years ago but then I never finished it and I remember that it was quite strange and now I was definitely curious to pick up the book in English and to read it in English and to see if I will enjoy it again and it will be forever linked to the memory of one of my trips in London. I love going to London and I'll definitely buy everything bookish related when I'm there. I love so much the UK covers, they are always so beautiful and I always travel there with a full packed luggage unfortunately so to pick a lot of books is always difficult but still I'm trying to pick one at a time when I can and this was from the last trip. And then the next book that I have in English is Throne of Glass. 
This is, of course, again, the UK cover, as you may see, not the cover that you see more often, the American one, this is the UK one. And this one isn't from London, it's actually from Barcelona. <laughs> Last year I went to Barcelona with my mom. I bought it during a trip that was basically my graduation present after I finished my university and we went in Barcelona and we stayed in this kind of apartment which was very very near to an English bookshop and of course I had to go inside and they wanted to buy so many things but then I decided to pick up the first in this series since I've never read anything by Sarah J Nas and I've seen so many booktubers saying so many wonderful things about both of her series and I'm just curious to get at it as soon as I can and to see if I will enjoy it too or maybe not, who knows but I got this, I am. But I got this one and then a couple of other books that I bought for my friends, so I cannot show them, of course, because I don't own them anymore. But this will be forever linked to that trip and to that kind of experience. I loved my stay, my short stay in Barcelona, and this book will always just bring those memories back. And now I have the biggest section and it's, of course, the section of books in Italian. The first two books that I have here are actually from my very last trip in Tuscany, and I bought these two while I was in Florence, and they are both sequels to a trilogy, the Fairy Oak trilogy, written by Elisabeth Pagnone, and these books were written originally in Italian, and they are written by the author behind the witch magazine, the witch cartoon, the witch everything, the witch franchise, and by saying witch I mean them. If you know them, that, then you know that she's the author behind that story. And here I have two sequels to her book. I was searching for them for so long, there are four stories, four sequel stories. They are like spin-offs or sequels, I'm not sure because I've not read them yet. But I found the first and the second one and I'm so happy. I was searching for them online, but it was almost impossible to get them. I don't know for which reason. And then they suddenly disappeared from all the bookshops around. So I don't know what happened, but it was impossible to get these books and now I'm so happy to own the first two ones and then probably in the future when I will find the other two I will get them again and these are books that I really enjoy having in hardcover because inside of the book as you may see the cover is very colorful and then they are very beautiful on the inside too and then you have a bunch of wonderful illustrations in the middle so these books are very precious and very beautiful so it's definitely not a waste of money to own them in a hardcover i have the first trilogy in hardcover and now these guys too so i'm very happy with this purchase and they are coming from my last purchase during a trip and the next book that i have is Memoria di una Geisha, written by Arthur Golden, or Memoir of a Geisha in English. And I love this book so much. I fell in love with the movie too, it was so beautiful. And I know that some things are a little bit misportrayed, and that there was this huge case behind this book and then behind the movie, but this book was just able to bring me in another day, in another dimension, in another century. It was just so beautifully written. I was so involved in the story and it's in Italian, but I've not bought it in exactly Italy. It was in Italy, but not in a city. I bought it in an airport actually, while I was traveling to, oh my, probably to London. I would say, yeah, probably while I was traveling to London because I remember that I started this one on the plane and I was devouring it, it was so beautiful and I will always remember 
this book as the best purchase that I've made in an airport, definitely. Among all the books that I bought in an airport, this is my favorite one. Then I have a little book that I bought last year during a trip with my boyfriend, a summer trip, and it's Una piccola libreria Parigi, written by Nina George. This book was so precious and so interesting. It's quite short and it deals with book lovers and people who love buying books and people who try to cure themselves thanks to books. And it was just very, very interesting and it gave me really that kind of French vibe and I was almost sure that it was written in French, but apparently it was written in German at the beginning. And this book was about a man that lives alone and that owns a boat on which he has built a bookshop, a particular kind of bookshop, it's more like a place in which people try to find solutions for their problems. So he's like a kind of a doctor. He sees what's your problem and then he gives you a book to cure your problem. And I find it like a very fascinating concept. I read it quite rapidly, it's not a long read, but I really enjoyed it. it yeah, just basically gave me that kind of French vibe that you get from some French movies, for example, or from French music. Definitely, definitely something very, very French for me. And the last two books are very special for me. And I bought them while I traveled with my boyfriend uh, in Venice. And I bought both of these books in the most amazing bookshop that I've ever seen in the world and it's very famous, it's called Aqua Alta and it's a little bookshop where you may see all kinds of old books, used books, very very cheap books sometimes. Some of them are really beaten up and very consumed and it's just a great experience to go there inside. I will put a couple of photos here that I've taken during my trip and while I was there. And then you have that kind of backyard in which all the books are piled up and they form a stair going up to the street. It's just magical, a magical place. And there I took two books. The first one being Le Reliquiera Veneziana, written by Fulvio Tomizza, and I really fell in love with the cover. I mean, it gave me that kind of court vibes about royalty and so on, so I definitely wanted to have it, and now it's mine. And I've not read it yet, actually. I tried to pick it up so many times, but then something happens before I open it, and then I open some other book, so it's not its time yet, but I'm sure that I will enjoy this book. And even if not, it's still so precious to me because of the memories, because of the place in which I bought this book. So I will cherish it forever. And then I have one more book that I bought in that same place, and it's this beauty. Isn't it like one of the most beautiful things that you've ever seen. It's small and I think that it's false leather or something like that. It's very very beautiful. It's a little bit beaten up and it has yellowish pages inside and the book is written by Madame Lafayette and the book is La Principesse de Cleves, uh, La Princesse de Cleves, the Princess of Cleve. <laughs> I've tried all the languages basically here. So I really love this book. It's a beautiful edition and I used it in some photo shoots. And so I... it's a perfect book for those occasions. And then it's very, very interesting and very beautiful. So these were all the books that I love the most among those that I bought during my trips and again if you are a buyer while you travel around the world please let me know what are the books that you cherish the most that you still 
remember about and if you have some great memories linked to books that you bought abroad or in a different city i would really like to know about it too thank you so much for watching and i hope that you've drank your tea i've not finished yet mine but now i definitely will and the thunderstorm stopped so it's perfect thank you so much for watching and i will see you very very soon bye ciao